late morning and near a train station in South London, we've arranged to meet three men who came to the UK to seek asylum. They don't want us to know where they're staying. So you've all gone underground? Yes, ma'am. All disappeared? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Living outside of society? Yes, ma'am. In a week which has seen the government ratchet up its strategy to stop people entering the country illegally, we can reveal threats to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda were already driving those here into hiding. Dravid is from India and flew to the UK using fake documents. I don't want to like attend the Home Office to proceed my claim. You don't want to risk it? No, I don't want to risk so, it. So what are you afraid of, that no, if, if you if, report in, that they'll detain in, you? They, 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 they may be like detain me and they can send me to Rwanda. It means anyone in authority, like the police, terrifies them. I am very nervous and suffering and I go to the, on, on, on other ways. Ayodson and Abinthan say they're Tamils who fled from persecution and torture in Sri Lanka. They crossed the channel by small boat. After risking their lives to get here, they're also now ditching their asylum claims. I came three attempts on my boat. Second time you is, tried three times? Yeah, second time it pushed me water, you know, like... You capsized? Yeah, it pushed me out water. Then I swimming in sight. Third time is attempt come. Third time lucky. But did you think that your life here would be like it is now, on the run? Not now and not like it. No. But going into hiding can make it difficult to access some medical care and leaving the hotel accommodation provided by the government for asylum seekers whilst their claims are being processed. Everyone that we've spoken to says they're only really able to exist outside of the system because they're offered somewhere to live or given cash in hand work by people they know within their own community. But for those going underground, here's a glimpse into the future. Tomorrow is the day to taking old cardboards. Kanaga Sabathi is paid cash in hand by other Sri Lankans to do cleaning and maintenance work. He came to the UK nearly 20 years ago and also says he fled persecution. He's lived in this garage for five years since his asylum claim failed. He's very aware the Home Office is stepping up raids on undocumented migrants living illegally like him. It's a miserable and lonely existence. So for you, this is a normal life? This is my normal life. Don't, I don't know what is the difference because I'm struggling to hear, but uh, this is my normal life. Do you know a lot of people who live like you live? Yeah, I have one or two friends. They are also live like that. Sometimes they're sleeping on the, on the road. At least I got something. That's what I think. It's estimated there could be around a million migrants living illegally in Britain, fueling the cash-in-hand economy. Another problem for a government desperately trying to stop anyone else from joining its broken asylum system. Lisa Holland, Sky News.